Hello everybody and welcome to our accounting quick hit video on the topic of normal balances of accounts. In previous lectures we talked about the journal entries and we talked about posting those journal entries to T accounts and we mentioned that a debit is always going to be on the left hand side and a credit is always going to be on the right hand side. Now the general balance of any account, we're not talking normal balance, we're talking just calculating the balance of an account. We have to add up the debits, add up the credits, and then subtract the two and the side with the highest amount gets the balance. So in this case we had 400 debits, 350 credits, the balance in this account is a debit for $50. Now we can't tell because we don't know what type of account these are, we can't tell whether this is a negative or positive balance, either of them. We only know whether it has a debit or credit balance. To identify whether it's going to be positive or negative, we have to know the normal balance of that account. Once we know that normal balance of an account, we do that entry to increase it, and we do the opposite entry to decrease it. So we just covered the balance discussion itself. To identify the normal balance of an account, we need to go back and talk about the basic accounting equation assets equals liabilities plus equity. This is the basic accounting equation. If we break this out further with owner's equity, if we break it out into contributed capital and retained earnings, and then if we break retained earnings out further into you know the beginning retained earnings plus net income minus dividends, and then we can break net income out even further into revenues minus expenses. Now the reason we do this is that we need our six core accounts, assets, liabilities, capital, revenues, expenses, and dividends. Once we've identified that, we can look at the normal balance rules. Now we know that assets are on one side of the equation, liabilities and equity are on the other side of the equation. So the, whatever rule applies to assets, the opposite rule is going to apply to liabilities and equity. But the rule for assets is that they are increased by debits and they're decreased by credits. Liabilities and equity overall are the exact opposite. But if we break equity out further, we have to remember that even though it has a credit balance, we know that capitals and revenues increase equity. So they also have normal credit balances, just like equity. However, expenses and dividends, when we add to those, we're actually decreasing equity. So for this reason, they have a normal balance of a debit because that same debit that increases those two accounts decreases equity overall. That's an important rule to understand. Think of them as automatic negatives. Now there's an easier way to understand that account, and that's through the normal balance mnemonic that I first learned with. We have dead, D-E-A-D, -E and C-L-R-C, clerk or Clark. The debit accounts include expenses, assets, and dividends. Those three accounts have normal debit balances and are increased with debits. The three credit accounts, liabilities, revenues, and capital or common stock, those three are increased by credits. So you may question here, why do we debit cash? Why does it have a normal debit balance? First of all, cash, of course, is an asset. Assets have normal debit balances. And we just said that debits increase assets, and therefore credits decrease assets. So that is the rule. But when I first learned this, my very first week of accounting, it confused me a bit. I said, well, why does my checking account from the bank, which is arguably my cash account, show that deposits are credits and withdrawals are debits, which is the exact opposite of what we're saying up here. And I even got out my checking account to double check it. And sure enough, a payment or withdrawal is a debit and a deposit was a credit, which again seems the opposite of what we just said. The reason for this that made perfect sense afterwards is that my cash account in the bank is not reflected as a cash account to them. It's the bank's account. It just happens to be my money in it. It's all from the bank's perspective. That cash account is a liability to the bank. As soon as I deposit money, they know they owe me that money back and they have to record it as a liability. We just said that liabilities have a normal credit balance. Credits increase a liability, so when I deposit more money, I credit it. Debits decrease a liability, so when I withdraw money from the bank, I debit their liability to reduce it. So hopefully this has helped to clarify some of the normal balance rules that we're going to talk about in later videos. I thank you for your time and look forward to talking to you in the next video.